How to configure custom leave policy and set up leave in Cashman in Zoho People Step 1. Navigate to leave settings log in to Zoho People using your credentials. From the dashboard, click on the settings in the top right corner. Navigate to leave tracker, leave policy to access the leave configuration settings. Step 2. Create a new leave policy click on the add leave policy button. Choose the type of leave entitlement policy that suits your organization's needs. A fixed entitlement provides a fixed number of leave days per year. Experience-based entitlement increases leave entitlement based on employees' years of experience. Grant-based entitlement special leave granted upon request. Attendance-based entitlement leave is credited based on employees' work hours or days. For this guide, select fixed entitlement and click next to proceed. Step 3. Configure leave policy details. Enter the leave policy name. Provide a clear and descriptive name. Select the leave type. Choose from paid, unpaid, on duty, or restricted holiday based on company policy. Define the leave unit. Specify whether the leave will be calculated in days or hours. Set leave entitlement under entitlement. Enter the number of leave credits employees will receive. Choose whether leave is allocated annually or monthly. Enable leave reset options, if applicable. If leave resets periodically, check the reset box and specify the reset frequency, yearly or monthly. Upon enabling reset, additional options appear, carry forward unused leave up to, define how many days can be carried forward to the next cycle. And cash unused leave up to, specify if employees can cash out unused leave. Set policy validity, enter a start date and an expiry date for this leave policy, if applicable. If the policy is indefinite, leave the expiry field blank. Review all entered details, then click next. Step 4. Set the applicability specify who is eligible for this leave policy. Select the employee groups, departments, or locations that this leave applies to. Apply the policy to all employees or specific categories. Add criteria or exceptions, optional define additional conditions like tenure, job role, or probationary period exclusions. Step 5. Configure leave policy restrictions. Exceeded leaves allow leave requests that exceed entitlement without limit or until year end. Option to mark excess leave as loss of pay. Sandwich leave policy enable or disable weekends and holidays between leave periods to be counted as leave. Clubbing policy restrict combining this leave with other selected leave policies. Report set employee leave report view options. Define how leave balance is displayed. File upload requires supporting documents if leave period exceeds a set number of days. Record level restrictions define allowed leave durations, full day, half day quarter day, hourly. Allow leave requests for past slash future dates with specified limits. Set additional constraints, min slash max leave per request, max consecutive leave days, request gaps, request limits. Restrict leave application to specific days. Step 6. Save and apply policy. Click save to finalize the leave policy. The policy will now be available for eligible employees under their leave options in Zoho People. Verify the policy under Leave Tracker, Leave Policy to ensure correct setup. That's how to configure a custom leave policy and set up leave encashment in Zoho People. Thanks for watching. How to create approval workflows for leave requests in Zoho People. Step 1. Navigate to Leave Tracker. Log in to Zoho People using your admin credentials. Click on the settings in the top right corner. Under the Leave Tracker section, select Approval. Step 2. Create a new workflow. Click on the Add Approval button. In the Form Name field, select Leave from the drop-down. Enter a unique approval name, example, Manager Leave Approval. Add a description to clarify the purpose of this approval workflow. This is optional. Step 3. Set approval criteria. Click the Set Criteria button. Define the conditions that will trigger this approval workflow. Example, apply the workflow only for specific leave types. Example, vacation leave, 
or for employees under a certain department. Save the criteria to proceed. Step 4. Define approval steps. Click on Configure Approver to define the approval hierarchy. Assign the approvers, which can be Manager, Direct Reporting Manager, HR Personnel for policy compliance checks, Custom Roles, any designated personnel in the approval chain. Set the approval type, single level approval, the request requires approval from only one designated person. Multi-level approval, the request moves through multiple levels, example, first to the manager, then to HR. If required, set auto-approve or auto-reject options, auto-approve, leave is automatically approved if no manual action is taken. Auto-reject, leave is automatically declined based on set criteria. Step 5. Configure notifications and messages under the messages section. Customize notifications for each approval stage. Define the sender under the from field example, the person performing the action. Set the recipient under the to field example, employee ID to notify the requester. Customize the subject and email body example, your request has been approved. Use placeholders like dollar employee underscore ID for personalized notifications. If needed, click Edit Email Template to modify the message further. Save the notification settings. Step 6. Activate the workflow. Click Save you to finalize the workflow settings. Ensure the workflow is enabled by checking the status toggle. That's how to create approval workflows for leave requests in Soho People.